Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to draw a 3D model from given orthographic views. So this is front view, this is top view and this is left hand side view as per first angle method of projection. And using Fusion 360 software, we have to create its a 3D model. So first we will observe orthographic views and try to visualize its a three dimensional view. So here we can see in front view, this is of 12 mm and if you see in the side view, it is inclined and in top view, it is looking like this. So it is inclined reef of 12 mm thickness. If you see this bottom surface in the front view, this is of rectangular shape and its height it is 20 mm. If you see in the top view, then that part is like this. So horizontal part is like this and inside you it is like this. So this bottom surface it is having shape like this and thickness is equal to 20. If you see this vertical part then it is of this shape and we can see in the side view and in the top view its a thickness is 20 mm. And here for this corner this line is shown and for these two corners in top view we can see these two lines. So we will draw 2D sketch for this horizontal part and its shape can be seen in the top view and then we can add thickness 20 mm. Then we can draw this vertical part and we can add thickness 20 mm and then we can draw the reef. So first we will draw this horizontal part. So click on this create and select create sketch command. So as we are drawing top view, let us select this horizontal plane to draw this 2D sketch. So here we will draw this profile and then we will give the dimension. So select line command. Then from this we can draw one vertical line, then horizontal line, then vertical line. And here in line itself we can draw the curve. So click and drag to get the circular arc or we can draw the circle and we can trim unwanted part so we have drawn this profile now we will give the dimensions and then we will extrude by 20 mm thickness so select dimension command or we can use shortcut key d to select this command so i will click on it, this dimension and we can see radius of this it is 30 so here we will give the radius 30 so automatically this will become 60. Then uh, from this intersection point, from this, this center it is at 30 in horizontal as well as in vertical. So we will give that dimension. So from this center of this arc, it is at 30. Also from this origin point, center of this circle, it is at 30. Like this. Then this length it is 20 plus 30 that is 50. So this is 50. So in this way this sketch is black. So all constant we have given. Click on finish sketch. And click on home to get 3D profile. Now we have to use the extrude command to add the thickness. So here thickness is 20. So we can give thickness in upward direction that is positive or in downward direction. So here I will give thickness in downward direction that is minus 20. Press enter key. Now we will draw this vertical plate. So this vertical plate it is at back side of this horizontal plate. So we will draw profile at this surface. So select create sketch command. And to select this back surface we can use shift scroll button to rotate and select this surface on which we can draw the 2d profile so we have to draw this 2d profile so we can start from this so it is vertical 40 then this inclined line then this horizontal line then this inclined line and this vertical line so select line command from this it is 40 
then from this inclined line then horizontal line then inclined line then vertical line and we can close the loop and press the enter key now we have given dimension to this vertical line that is 40 now we will give the other dimensions so this is 20 so use dimension command to give this dimension as 20 then this total it is 60 because this radius is 30 so this total it is 60 so this is also 60 so out of this 60 this is 20 so from this to this this distance is 20 and 20 and from this point to this point also this is 20 so it is already 20 then this vertical distance we can see here it is 20 so from this point to this point this vertical distance it is 20 so we can add 20 so from this to this also it is 20 like this so in this way this profile will be black so we can finish the sketch click on this home then use extrude command select this profile and here we have drawn this profile at this side so we can extrude by 20 m in this side so we can click on arrow and move in this direction and this thickness it is 20 so we, we can take 20 and press enter key so in this way this vertical plate we have drawn now we have to draw this inclined rib now to draw this line we have to draw at center there is no any plane on which we can create the sketch so first we will construct one plane which is passing through center of this object so here it is construct command construct plane so click on this and here there are different options to construct the plane so let us use first command that is offset plane and here there are different planes so we want vertical plane parallel to this at certain distance so this plane it is at this side and we want at this position so this distance is 30 so we can select this plane and offset distance as 30 so here we will get a plane so this plane it is at center of this object now create a sketch to construct a rib and select this plane now and then select line command and we have to draw line from center of this circular arc that is from this point and it is at this level that is this edge so here it is that point so select this point and press enter key click on home to see in 3d view and finish the sketch now we have to create the rib so select rib command from the create option then select this line and thickness of this rib it is 12 so we can enter here 12 and automatically this selecting the direction of the rib so enter 12 and press ok so in this way we have created a 3d model for given orthographic views now we can take this 3d model as well as orthographic projection on sheet so click on design select drawing and from design so here we can give the name for that sheet so it is isometric view from orthographic projections and click on save then keep this option by default and click on ok so we will get a sheet which we can convert into pdf so here along with this cursor we will get one base view so we can place that base view here and click on ok we can see here this is the front view so as compared to sheet size this is very small so we can change the scale so double click on this and here scale is 1 as to 2 so i will select 1 as to 1 and close this 
then we want its a top view so select project view select this front view and move cursor and downward so we will get top view here then we want left hand side view so again select this projected view command select front view and move cursor in right side so here we will get left hand side view also we want isometric view so again select projected view command select front view and move cursor in this direction to get isometric view so to get shaded portion double click on this so here there are different options so if you select this it will show only visible edges if you select on this then it will show hidden edges also and if you select this then we will get shaded portion so i will select here visible edges so it will look as isometric view and click on close so we can see here so we will get similar front view top view and side view now we will give the dimensions so select dimension and give different dimensions so this arc it is of 30 radius then this height it is 20 this is 40 from this to this it is vertical distance is 20 then from this to this it is 20 then this it is also 20 this distance is 30 this rib it is 12 so in this way we can give the dimensions so to convert into pdf click on export select export pdf option keep by default and click on ok give name to this pdf select location here we want to save that pdf so i will select desktop here and click on save so on desktop we can see this pdf so we can take printout of this pdf thank you